makes the world's most popular home video games. The only space invaders. The only asteroids. The only Pac-Man. The only Missile Command. And soon, the only Defender. And the only way you can play any of them is on a home video system made by Atari. Jazzy Jeff here, as always, in the game room. How's everyone doing? So, I have been super busy working on multiple projects and filming multiple things and driving myself crazy. Uh, that being said, uh, this is the next project um, inspired by my buddy Colin Richards, uh, who was also known as... Uh, Colin Richards Art. I, I, I guess his name's the same. I always do this with his name. I don't know why I struggle giving people shout outs. Uh, here, here I am making like my 200th video and I still can't speak. Um, anyhow, um, Colin Richards also has a YouTube page, uh, Markers and Monsters. Obviously, the link will be in the description of this video. Check it out. Check him out. Uh, he does a lot of cool monsters, uh, famous movie monsters, uh, serial killers, uh, werewolves, uh, all kinds of awesome things. So, check it out. So, the reason why I bring up Colin Richards is because he actually uh, kind of inspired me to do a top 10 list or some kind of favorites list of my favorite Atari games. Um, I don't know if I could essentially do a legitimate top 10 list, um, but I was also thinking that a lot of people online do top 10 lists, top 5 lists, the worst, the best, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I figured I would just do what I always do. Just kind of show a couple games and talk about them. So that's basically what this next series is going to be. Starting with this one and going forward, uh, this could be a three part, maybe four part series. I'm not sure yet, but it's essentially going to be me tackling various Atari games. And I'm going to break them into sections, essentially, by a uh, company that made them and or production slash manufacturer. So, for example, today's episode is all about these games. The Mattel games, or obviously also known as the M Network games. Uh... At the recording of this episode, I currently only have six of these. Um, I know there's not a lot, uh, but there's definitely other uh, Mattel games that they made. So keep in mind for this list, um, I'm sure there's some of you may have your favorite Mattel games that I don't have here. I'm sure a lot of you may disagree with the games I choose. And unfortunately, I can't talk about the games that I don't have. Um, but if you guys have them... And you're willing to cut me a deal? Leave me a response in the comment section below. But either way, um, these are the six Mattel games I have, so I'll be getting into those today. Obviously, today's topic is the Atari 2600. So I always like showing off my Vader model, of course. Uh, eventually, I hope to uh, own uh, some of the other uh, Atari consoles. Uh, you know, the six switcher and the the Woody four switcher and even the cool Atari Junior. So, uh, one day I shall own more. Uh, but for the time being, my Vader model gets the job done. Uh, it's easy to clean and take care of. It's a great system. So, there's that. Talking about Atari 2600 games, I gotta show the system. Okay, last up real quickly, um, I'll be bringing this up in all of the Atari videos uh, just to kind of urge you guys to comment and or um, participate in these videos to give you guys a little more of an incentive. Um, I have up for grabs an original Atari Pac-Man manual. Uh, this obviously is originally from 1981. And uh, it's very colorful, it's very cool. Um, I had an extra one of these uh, just kind of laying around. And I figured I would just kind of do something fun and different for my fans. Uh, if this goes over well, uh, obviously 
um, I'll continue to do stuff like this in the future. Um, eventually, uh, the contest will be uh, between uh, this video and the final Atari video that I upload. Um, every time somebody uh, comments, keep in mind uh, it's only going to be uh, one comment per video, but each video that you comment will enter you into a drawing. And then I'll put everybody's names in a big basket, and then obviously I will randomly draw one and I will do the video live so that you guys know there's no chicanery or playing favorites or anything like that. So keep in mind the way you get entered into this contest is literally just by commenting the video. All you got to do is just comment it. it be in. I will contact you, of course, and if you want to give me your address, um, obviously I'm not going to send you anything weird. You'll be winning this and probably a couple other uh, loose goodies, maybe some pogs, trading cards, you know, knickknacks, things like that. Basically just a little fun care package from Jazzy. So that is the contest. Obviously, I will remind you guys about it in the other videos. Uh, once again, all you got to do is just comment, and and that's it. And then you enter the drawing. Uh, but like I said, uh, I'm going to keep it to one comment uh, per video. That way, there's not somebody commenting like 20 times. So, all right. It's going to be so much of a uh, review of every single game. Um, I, I'm not going to go into detail on every single game. Uh, obviously, this video could get very, very long. So I'm going to kind of just bring up a few points about each game. If you guys want to discuss a particular game that I show a little more, obviously that's what the comment section is for. So feel free to leave comments or questions in regards to these games. Um, and then at some point down the line, if I pick up more Mattel games, I may do another Mattel Atari 2600 video. So let's get this started. All right, so first up, uh, I figured I would uh, start with uh, the one game that I could not that I could not review, and that would be Armor Ambush uh, 1982. Um, this is actually a two-player only game, so I did not have a second player person to play it with. Uh, however, it just doesn't really seem like a game that really interests me anyhow. It's essentially combat. Uh, however, with added terrain, uh. added, um, I guess there's, uh, for lack of a better word, there's blocks or blockage, um, things that could get in, in the way of your vehicle that you have to find a way to get around. Uh, so there's sort of like safe spots and buffer zones that you can hide your tank behind. Um, and there is a little bit of recoil when you shoot your, um, you know, your grenade or whatever, when, 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 when you shoot your bomb, the tank will move. Or missile, I, I, I guess it's a missile. When you shoot your missile, uh, the, the tank will kind of, kind of move or, you know, your, your, your aim kind of diagonals a little bit. And it's kind of neat because it keeps you from being able to just point and shoot, 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 because you have to shoot the other player three times in order to eliminate them. Uh, so there's a little bit more strategy involved, a little bit more gameplay involved. Uh, overall, uh, this is a great looking um, label and game, I will say. Uh, for a lot of the Atari games from the 80s and further back, um, it's hard to find them in good condition. A lot of times the glue um, either comes undone or the labels got destroyed or the glue is very oily and it soaks through and it makes the label look like shit. So this is pretty crazy how good a condition Armor Ambush is in. So that is Armor Ambush. Um, okay, up next I'm just going to dump, dump, jump right into it. So... Uh, not the best looking label, unfortunately. Um, had to glue it back on there while I was gluing it. It ripped. Uh, that would just be my luck. But uh, Frogs and Flies, uh, Mattel, of course, 1982. Uh, amazing game. Lots of fun. Um, at some point down the line, I may show you guys some game footage of these games. Um, but I figured uh, with trying to show game footage and talking about it, once again, the video could become very long, and I've been trying to just keep the video short and sweet. So, like I said, Frogs and Flies, if you haven't played this, it's a lot of fun, really cool game mechanics, a great looking game for the Atari. Uh, it even has the end screen when you know the game's over, which is really awesome. 
and uh, just overall, just uh, a very well done game. So, Frogs and Flies, totally recommend it. Dark Cavern, um, this game and Adventures of Tron, um, I'm going to kind of bring them up together because both games are very, very similar. Uh, Dark Cavern reminds me a lot of Berserk. Uh, where you're running around a room shooting robots that can shoot back at you. Uh, Adventures of Tron um, is similar to this game in the sense that you're running around avoiding robots that could kill you. Um, the big difference with the Adventures of Tron and Dark Cavern or games like Berserk would be the fact that um, you can shoot robots in this game and kill them Whereas the Adventures of Tron, you have to run and get away from them. You cannot let them touch you. Uh, but both are sort of platformers or side-scrollers to a certain extent. Uh, more so a, you know, vertical uh, platformer, not so much, you know, horizontal side to side. Where in these games, you're kind of going up and down, left and right, but you're not moving across the screen like Mario or a game like that. Um, so... Really cool, really um, exciting games, definitely immersive, pulls you in. Uh, the Adventures of Tron I find a little bit more interesting because the levels really start to change and the environments change as well as the um, guys that you battle. I definitely want to do a review of this game at some point. Uh, Dark Cavern does get a little old after a while because... You don't go, you, you, you essentially, the level never changes. It's just kind of the same level again and again, and like robots just continuously come at you. So it can definitely get kind of repetitive and boring. Um, but I recommend both games, because both games I put in, and I was kind of unsure at first, and then once you figure out how to play, I found myself just sitting there playing it and playing it and playing it, and it was hard to stop. So, two great picks. Um, I'd say these are probably my two favorite uh, Mattel um, Atari games um, for sure absolutely and then of course Frogs and Flies uh, you know kind of being an honorable mention uh, this is another game that's more fun with two players obviously there is the CPU um, levels but um, I would probably aim for these ones uh, over this but still another really great game Alright, and then finally, um, finishing up with the two space games. Uh, next up, uh, we have another awful <laughs> label uh, there. Uh, the color came right off of it when I was cleaning. Accidentally didn't realize there was some bleach in the cleaner that I had. So, remember kids, be very careful when dealing with bleach. Um, yeah, another M Network game, of course. Uh, this one, I give a lot of props to... Um, actually being what the game is called. Uh, there's a lot of Atari games that have some weird name like Pickle Blaster and it's all about collecting sticks uh, in the desert. You know, and it's like, hmm, that's a weird name. Why would it be called Pickle Blaster? So either way, um, Astro Blast, you're actually blasting asteroids. Um, the cool thing about this game is it does require you to pull out the ridiculous um, paddle controllers. Uh, which I find very comfortable to use. Uh, however, in this game, um, the paddle controllers are very um, responsive and they move across the screen super fast. So you actually have to kind of slow yourself down. So if you're used to moving fast in some games, um, you will have to kind of adjust yourself a little bit. But once you adjust yourself, it is very comfortable. I love the paddle controllers. I think I've said this before. They fit in my hands really well. It just, it just feels right. It just feels good. So anyway, um, that's Astro Blast. Um, kind of repetitive, kind of boring. Uh, it's up there with Dark Cavern. Um, doesn't really add a whole lot of new elements. Um, you basically just have, I think, six lives. And then once you run out of lives, the game's over. Um, there didn't appear to be any kind of boss battles or any kind of end levels. Um, it was just kind of, eh, you know, you play it. I played better space shooters. Um, there's really no story involved. So um, if you come across in this in the wild uh, for really cheap, I'd say pick it up. Uh, but unless you're a diehard collector, 
um, I would totally skip this one. All right, and then finally we have Space Attack, um, which I rank up there with Astro Blast. Uh, just a very weird game. Um, I still don't really know what I'm doing. I've looked up Let's Plays. I've looked up game footage. I've read the manual, um, and I just can't seem to wrap my head around what the hell Space Attack is really all about. That thing with Space Attack is kind of the same problem with a lot of space games. There's a ton of them on the Atari. However, not all of them are good. And with a library that extends so large in the shoot 'em up space category, it's very easy for a game like this to get lost in the confusion and it should stay lost because I understand what they were going for. They were kind of going for a Top Gun style, you know, looking at the screen and flying type game, whereas most games are kind of like Gradius or, you know, Galaga or Galaxian, you know, or even Space Invaders where you're just at the bottom shooting things. Um, this game tried to go for something different, and I, and I, you know, I think it's cool that they tried, but they just didn't put enough work into the game mechanics and or game movements and unfortunately uh, the game ends up just being a mess of, it, of itself. The aim is, is fucking awful. Uh, the sounds in the game can get very annoying very quickly and uh, just the overall gameplay uh, is just not... I, I just did not find it interesting and I did not want to play this game. Um, so I'd say Space Attack is probably the worst of the Mattel games uh, but Astro Blast is not far behind. Overall, uh, from the research I've done on Mattel uh, video games and uh, from watching other uh, YouTubers who also uh, played a lot of the Mattel uh, Atari uh, 2600 video games, um, there just seems to be this overall uh, opinion that they all share that for some reason the Mattel games uh, just the, the work and effort was just not put into them. The the gameplay, the mechanics, the sprites, it just wasn't quite there. Uh, that's not to say that there's not good Mattel games, because obviously there is. Um, but when looking at their entire library, um, a lot of reviewers seem to kind of agree that uh, they're sort of the poor man's... Uh, section of the Atari 2600. Uh, that's it for today's episode. Uh, obviously don't forget about the Pac-Man manual contest. Uh, this is Jazzy Jeff saying if you didn't know about any of this, well now you know. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys for part two. And you have to uh, protect them from the bugs on the right side of the screen. Definitely makes for an interesting different type of shooter. Lots of fun, very cool. Totally recommend it in my top five for sure. Um, find and track down Spider Fighter uh, if you are collecting Atari games. Uh, one last side note. Um, both uh, the Pitfall games are made by Activision. Um, I will not be doing those in this video. I will be holding those off for a later video. Um, but these are the Activision games I'm talking about today. Um, aside from the two Pitfall games, those are the only Activision games I have. Um, also, if you're interested to know, this is my like entire collection thus far. And um, I'm basically going to be breaking the next two videos into um, a bunch of random Atari games. Games made and developed by Atari for the Atari. Um, hopefully that video won't be too long. Um, I'm probably not going to talk about all of the games because I have about 30 of them. And then after that, I'm going to do the high-end um, kind of like movie studio titles, that sort of thing. That may be a two-part video. So this has been Jazzy Jeff. As always, as a reminder, the Pac-Man manual is up for grabs. So if you guys make a comment in the comment section of this video, your name will be entered to win this and other cool goodies mailed out to you. So remember that, contest is still going on. Otherwise, I'm gonna end this video. It's been long, I think it's gone on more than long enough. Hopefully I held your guys' attention. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. 
Uh, let me know uh, what you guys thought of this video, of course. And as always, if you didn't know, now you know. I'm Jazzy Jeff. Thanks for watching. Louie, Louie. Oh no, we gotta go. Ho, 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 Louie, Louie. Oh, baby, we gotta go. Ha, ha, yeah, 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 Louie, Louie. Oh, I, I think that's the song. Is that Louie, Louie? Oh, fuck it. <laughs>